I have this example of rubber bands really quick. So this is, there's two different ways that I'm making an adjustment to the record. One is, <clears throat> like these are two of the exact same record, right? To the exact same length. If one is off, let me make a mark on it. These are just regular rubber bands. They're not magic rubber bands or anything. Um, but this is a good example, okay? So, let me make a couple marks. Here, I'll just make two marks. <clears throat> two of the same. Can you see in the um, camera here? Let me see, I'll get it right here. Okay. Okay, so this is the start. And let's say these are my snares, let's say. Okay, so my two and the four. So, and drop. And then the snares being lined up exactly. There we go. Okay. Now, if they are different tempos, this is what this looks like. Do you see that? <clears throat> so the top one, the snare hits later. And you see that it's changing over time. Like over time, that snare, like the first snare is pretty close. But later on, if I stretch it even a little bit more and make it a bit different, you'll see over time that it gets a lot more off. And this is because of then tempo. This is that the BPM is not exactly the same. This is that case, okay? Now, if I go back to the regular, okay, this is back to regular. If I don't drop it in at the right time, but they're set to be the exact same, and I don't drop it in at the right time, it would look like this. There's gotta be a better way, but this is pretty good. Okay, so you see that? Do you see that now? My fingers are kind of in the way. This is that it was dropped off. So it doesn't need, like there doesn't need to be an adjustment to the pitch, to the tempo. This won't do anything. This won't fix anything. In fact, if this is off like this, and now watch, if I stretch this, it's not gonna do anything. It's not, it's not the right adjustment. This isn't what is wrong here. What really needs to happen is what? You guys know? Yeah. Nudge it left or right. <clears throat> yeah, this thing needs to get nudged, yeah. right? So depending on which one I dropped in is the one that I have to nudge to then get back into place, all right? So there's two types of adjustments here. There's one that's going to be this nudging. We sometimes often call this like tapping and pushing. It's like pushing and tapping, just like slow down. Or I call this a minor adjustment. So I'm either gonna speed up the record a bit, slow down the record a bit, and there's different adjustments that you're gonna use on either the CDJ or the turntable, different types of adjustments to do the minors. Or, so there's one that's a minor adjustment, or there's a major adjustment, which is a tempo adjustment having to do with the pitch, okay? So, um, but the first thing, before we even get too deep into that, I just wanna focus first on like our reference point. Trying to get that one to line up with the one like nine out of 10 times. When you first do this exercise, it may be that it's like two out of 10 times. You wanna get this so that it's like nine out of 10 times, 99 times out of 100, so that you know that that's not an issue. Cause then when you start using songs that are different BPM, you know, we're using just two songs that are the same. If you have this issue of not dropping in on the right time, and then now you're working with other BPMs, like now you're, that's what's really confusing. You don't know if it's your hand, if it needs to be faster or slower on the tempo, like you're not sure what the, the change needs to be. So always start with two of the same record. So here we go, we'll start with two of the same record. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna play this one, I'm just gonna practice bringing this in over and over again. In fact, let me talk through, actually let me do it first and then I'll, I'll put it up there. So here we go. <laughs> I'll do this out of the, um, out here so you can hear it. Forward, 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 forward. Bring it back, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Back to, I'm gonna let it play for like a bar, to see if it's on. <clears throat> forward, forward. Now if my timing is off, it's gonna sound like this. <clears throat> <All> right. 
and bring it back, or it might sound like this. Too slow. Yep, they need to be pushed together. <clears throat> this can also happen if I'm not exactly on the beginning of like where that one is. So if I'm too far back, meaning now that's gonna be off. <clears throat> So I literally have to be at the, the edge of the sample, like at the edge of that kick, like right up to the one, toes on the edge. And then you notice I'm doing this little scratch to then drop in. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because <clears throat> this timing is gonna be essential for dropping it in. If I drop it in cold, the chances of me nailing it are a lot smaller. Be the same as if the four of you guys, five of you guys, <coughs> you're running around the track. I'm standing here watching you run around the track. I'm about to then jump in with you. As I'm watching you around the track, what am I doing? Preparing. How am I preparing? You know what's coming. I'm, I know it's coming. Am I physically doing anything? I'm okay, anything else? <laughs> Jogging in. <laughs> okay. I'd probably be trying to time your pace, right? So I'd kind of be like, okay, yep, all right. So that then when you come, I'm like right there with you, right? So <clears throat> this, Scratch is the running in place. This is that running in place, getting the timing. Nothing crazy, I'm not do, doing anything where I'm like showing off here. It's all like for a purpose. It's like even a simple eighth note, which is forward, 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 drop. Or like maybe a 16th. Like I find that the 16th is a little bit more accurate because I feel like it's almost more real time. Forward, 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 drop. If you don't get all four of those, if you don't get the entire last bar, and you just get the last two beats of it, that's cool too, or even the last beat. Remember, it was more so so that this lines up on the one. <clears throat> so um, it, it goes like this, and drop, and this is gonna play. You're gonna let it play, and hopefully you're hearing snare, kick, snare. <clears throat> now you're gonna rewind this. Back to the very first one, get ready to go. You've got sort of four beats until the, the four, and then forward, 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 drop. 